finally figured out a way to actually boost the resolution of my slow-mo videos. Here's an example right here. On the left is the original 1080p footage off of the camera, and then on the right is the edited version where I boosted it up to 4K resolution. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this lamp here so that you can really tell the difference. I've been trying to figure out how to do this for like the past two years and then this last week I was finally successful at adding real resolution to one of my slow-mo videos. It does only work in a very controlled environment, but I still think it's really cool and I'm excited to show you guys how I did it. First thing I need is very consistent lighting. I have a lot of natural light coming in through these windows which happens to be consistent right now. And then I have this GVM video light here, which is designed for shooting videos and so it doesn't flicker at all. Now I've got my phone here, which I'm gonna be using to shoot the slow-mo video on, locked off on a tripod, so it's not gonna move at all. And first thing I'm gonna do is take a picture. So what I'm doing here is taking a high-res photo of the entire backdrop, and then we can use the resolution from this photo and add it into our video later on. For this video, I'm gonna be shooting at 1080p, 260 frames per second. Go ahead and hit record there. Now I've already started recording the slow-mo, but I'm not gonna do anything yet. I'm just gonna let it record some of the background, just static, nothing happening, and I'm gonna use that later on in post. So that's just a really important little detail. And now, I'm gonna drop my Legos in here. Now I'm gonna use Adobe After Effects to combine the photo and the video that I just took together into this like hybrid photo video high resolution, high frame rate video. Basically anything that's not moving, so the entire background here is going to have a boost in resolution and then just the Legos falling through will be lower resolution but high frame rate. And you won't really notice that they're not high resolution because they're moving and everything that's not moving is gonna look nice and crispy. If that's confusing, don't worry, it will all make sense in just a second. So here we are in After Effects, go to New Composition from Footage, but then select the background photo that we took, uh, not the video. So starting with the image here, importing that, and then open up your file and drag and drop the slow-mo video into the timeline. So now we have the background photo and the slow-mo video, but you'll see the slow-mo video is really small here because it's lower resolution. So right click on the video, go to transform, and click on fit to comp. This will scale it up so it's the same size as our background photo. Now with that video clip still selected, hit control C, control V, and that will duplicate the video. So now that's doubled up on the timeline here. The beginning of this video doesn't have anything happening in it because I had waited several seconds before dropping the Legos in. So take just the top video and slide it to the left until the video starts right when the Legos start dropping in. Over on the right here, type in difference mat and drag that down onto our top video clip here. Now over here on the left where it says difference layer, Make sure that it is set to source from the lower video that is just filming the background. And that will delete the background, just leaving the Legos, as you can see right here. So essentially what we just did here was create a green screen without using a green screen by using the difference mask in After Effects, which is basically just comparing the two different videos and deleting anything that remains the same and consistent throughout those videos. So the Legos falling through, those were pixels that it was detecting that were changing, and so it saved those as its own layer with a transparent background. Now, we can use that high-res 12 megapixel photo that we took and put that in as our background image. All we have to do now is move the photo of the background so that it is in between the two video clips. The video clip on the top with the green screened Legos and the video on the bottom is just our source video of that blank background. Now just make sure that you export this video at 4K and here's my final results. I have this high resolution 4K video Granted, the Legos aren't actually 4K, they're only 1080p, but you don't really notice that so much because they're moving. And then all the objects that aren't moving that would be more noticeable if they weren't high resolution actually are 4K now. So that's how I add resolution to my slow-mo videos. This is particularly useful for me because the only real slow-mo camera I have is my phone, 
which does really high FPS videos, but at very low resolution. It can shoot in 4K, but only at 60 frames per second. When I bump up to 260 frames per second, it goes down to 1080p, and then I can go all the way up to 960 some frames per second, but it goes all the way down to 720p. So anytime you um, boost the frame rate, you lose video quality. So this little hack, I think, has gotten me some really good results. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Go watch some of my other videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time.